Hello. Our devotion for today is titled, A Faith That Brings Peace. And it is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, verses 36 through 50. A sinful woman forgiven. One of the Pharisees asked Jesus to eat with him, and he went into the Pharisee's house and reclined at table. And behold, a woman of the city, who was a sinner, when she learned that he was reclining at table in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of ointment. And standing behind Jesus at his feet, weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head and kissed his feet and anointed them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would have known who and what sort of woman, woman this is who is touching him, for she is a sinner. And Jesus answering, said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. And he answered, Say it, teacher. A certain moneylender had two debtors. One owed 500 denarii and the other 50. When they could not pay, he canceled the debt of both. Now which of them will love him more? Simon answered, uh, the one, I suppose, for whom he canceled the larger debt. And he said to him, you have judged rightly. Then turning toward the woman, he said to Simon, do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water for my feet, but she has wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but from the time I came in, she has not ceased to kiss my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she has anointed my feet with ointment. Uh, therefore, I tell you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. But he who is forgiven little loves little. And he said to her, Your sins are forgiven. Then those who were at table with him began to say amongst themselves, Who is this who even forgives sins? And Jesus said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. In verse 50, Jesus said to the woman, your faith has saved you. We hear these words again and again in the Gospels. Jesus intentionally repeated them often to stress something that is very important. What Jesus gives is received in faith and only in faith. Yet if we believe, we receive it without reservation. Now, believing isn't just accepting an assertion. Uh, naturally, to have faith also means to believe that Jesus is God's Son, and that he comes to us from God, bringing us salvation. But believing in Jesus means more. It means to trust in him, to have confidence in him, and to glorify him. Those who believe will stay with him and obey him. Jesus could say, Go, and from now on, sin no more. The Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse 11. Because he knew that those who believed in him would do just that. The same thing is meant by the phrase, Go in peace. That's not just a wish for peace and quiet. In the Bible, a peace means God's wonderful order of things, a world where God's will is done. 
To have peace in the heart means to put your life in God's hands and let him guide it. That's faith. And that is what salvation, which we have through faith, contains. Let us pray. Lord, you know how much we doubt. You also know that we are being honest when we say that there is nowhere else for us to go but to you. Our faith is only a glowing spark, but it glows because you blow on it. We need your help. We don't want to be without you. So we come to you for help. You said yourself that you will not reject those who come to you. Lord, come to us today. Help us. Rescue us. Save us. Jesus, in your holy name we pray. Amen. God's blessings. I'll see you next time.